So to make an impact with kind of the talented 12, um, I, I hope that maybe this has been a, an opportunity for people to see what kind of science happens in agrochemistry, that we do have very innovative, cutting edge research going on in our labs. Um, and maybe even kind of opens up the idea that um, there is, there is more to farming than just what you might see in the field, that there's a lot of science behind everything that you're seeing um, out, out in the world. I'm Susie Banziger, and I'm proud to be a chemist because it allows me to see the world at the molecular level. What do you do? So I'm Susanna Banziger. I often go by Susie. I'm from Indiana, and um, I am the high throughput automation leader for the formulations group at Corteva AgriScience. A little bit about what I do day to day is my team um, looks to develop and optimize new formulations using automation um, and data and informatics in order to make more sustainable agrochemical products. What does being recognized as one of CNEN's Talented 12 mean to you? The recognition of being a Talented 12 um, is a really um, good reminder that we're doing great science at, at Corteva. Um, and even within my career, I think um, when I found out, I have to admit to being very surprised. I thought it was a joke. And, um, and then I kind of sat back, and when I shared with m some of my colleagues later on, um, they, they were just like, that, that was so obvious. How did you not think that was going to happen? And so I think it was a really um, nice reminder that, that we're doing exciting new and innovative research um, in industry, specifically in the agrochemical industry. What's something you've done in your career that was especially fulfilling? So I think uh, my journey is not a very linear one, um, and in many ways I've taken um, opportunities along the way, and I often like to call it a career adventure here and there. Um, so in terms of kind of what drove me early on, I um, grew up in more of an agricultural town, and so there was fields all around me, and so that was something that was kind of in my day to day. Um, and I, I knew that I wanted to do something for sustainability, um, for to better the world in some shape or form. And so I did go into the STEM fields, kind of with that in mind, um, and, and fell upon a few opportunities here and there, um, and then met some of the people at Corteva, got excited about what they were doing. It opened my eyes to what, can, what kind of research happens in agrochemistry um, that I didn't realize was there before. Um, so when I ended up getting a, a role there, I was really, really excited. Um, and so then during my time at Corteva, um, there's just been new opportunities that I never would have thought, one of them being automation, um, that I would be able to drive and get involved in and, and lead. And so it's, it's very much been, um, you know, there's been a lot of new things to learn, um, and being very open to those new things has, has helped me get to where I am today. What do you think are the biggest challenges your field can address? So I will do my best. It's a very big question. Um, and there's, so I think there's a number of angles that we can take on um, the challenges there are in, in agrochemistry and agriscience. Um, food is central to everything we do. If we don't eat, we're not going to be able to think well. We're not going to be able to learn and educate the future generations. And so um, some of the things that, that we consider um, is we're considering, you know, how do we be stewards of the land? How do we um, ensure that for years to come, every generation will continue to have food? And we do know the population is ever growing. And so we need to be mindful um, that we need to grow more on less land and with less resources. And so in terms of, um, I think your question was kind of the science of where we need to take things, where are the innovations um, needing to go? Uh, we need to make sure that everything is very sustainable and very safe for the environment. Um, of course, we also need to ensure that we have, um, you know, more higher efficacy products, things that um, are going to essentially work better, so to speak. Um, and then there's other pieces of this. Is in, we need to think about our packaging technologies and we need to think about our applications technologies. And so what's really exciting about the business is there's many ways um, that you can tr contribute based on different backgrounds. Um, and I think, you know, one other thing I really haven't touched on is kind of the digital side of our, our business where we can use drones to map famine or drought in the fields and make predictions and, and fix them before they become problems. So I think there's a lot of opportunities there, um, a lot of technology um, that we're really only starting to um, touch the surface of. My name is Susie Banziger. I'm a part of the class of the Talented 12 2023 and I'm proud to be a chemist.